Anana spread lantern. Yes, yes, yes. But finally, the plane could not land on that day. But yesterday we made it to that plane. And our people, our people of Panjiji are now very happy that their children are going to see this morning. So that's an achievement. We are doing the best we can here. We have no problem with anybody. Any person that has been prepared as a candidate have the right to sit for exams. And that's exactly what we've been pursuing all along. Yeah, my question to you is, since you're saying that you have deployed people and you have uh, uh, made sure that anything or stealing of the exam or leaking of papers should not be done, but we have just started this morning, how sure are you? I'm sure. That's, that's why I'm saying it to you confidently, that we have deployed people. By the way, we have the, the, the strategy we have put in place are working. There are people languaging in jail now, those who are trying to temper with security of exams during primary school exams. What are some of them? And uh, the, let me finish. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it would be good to, to, to finish because we, are, we have to be uh, uh, transparent and, and frank to ourselves because we are serving our people. So the deployment we have done is a strategy that has worked so far and the report we are getting are good. And that's why I was speaking optimistically. Okay, what are some of the penalties in case if there is an examination center that will be? Well, penalties are so severe, and that's why I've just said there are people who are still languaging in jail now. We're still investigating. They will suffer. They will face the full consequence of the law. We have the National Examination Council Act that penalizes every person that tries to, to, to jeopardize the integrity of exams, which in itself jeopardizes the integrity of the education system in our country. Those people will face the full force of the law. There are people in jail now, and um, so far, people do not even come nearby to police stations where the exams are being kept because they know the consequences are so severe. We will put you to court, and you will punish accordingly. The maximum sentence in breaching examination rules and regulation is seven years, and we have people in jail already. So I'm happy that our people will have to restrain from this practice, it's not a good practice. We have to be a good citizen, we have to be patriotic, and the only thing we, way we can do that is to collaborate and work together. This assessment is checking on the investment that we are putting in the country. It's not a joke. We have to make sure that the assessment is correct and give us the correct result. So the five teachers who are arrested are going to serve seven years' uh, term in prison? If con they'll be convicted. Uh -huh. They will have to. Okay. Yes. So tell us about the how you managed to prepare these exams because from the beginning there were no funds. Where did you get the funds and this time are the invigilators paid? Well, the issues of funds, we have, we have issues in our country. We have uh, financial issues and... But I have to tell you, exams have been taken in our country as a matter of national security. It has been put as a priority by our government and that's why we have been able to shatter all these flights. To take exams to different parts of every state where we are not able to reach by land because of insecurity and all that. So our government has taken it as a full responsibility and that's why all the funds have been availed. So far, I know we have problems with marking now. We have not started marking our primary school exam, but we are working hard together with our National Ministry of Finance to get resources so that we, we begin marking, so that when the school opens, the results should be out and those who, who made it through can go to high school. How What's the challenge? How, how much did the government inject in order to make sure that examination... It's a lot of money. Of it's a lot of money. Yeah. Exam is a costly enterprise. So far, the government have paid over 400 million South Sudanese pounds to print exams and to transport these exams. It's a costly process. But I'm thankful to our government and especially uh, my able minister, Honorable Awood, and uh, His Excellency the Vice President for Service Delivery Cluster. They have been on our side with my team. We don't sleep. We have been given this responsibility to ensure that exams are conducted on time and we have exams that are credible, whose results fix what the country has actually invested in the education system. Your name, sir, for the record. Uh, my name is Simon York. I'm the Secretary General of the National Examination Council. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.